What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the best badges to have in NBA 2K22 and this works in current gen and next gen. I'm going to be going through every single badge, I'm going to tell you guys the good badges, the bad badges, and the best levels to have them at. The first badge we're going to be going over is Blinders. I would say this is a pretty good badge and if you end up putting it on, you're going to want to put it either Silver or Hall of Fame. You don't want to put this badge at Bronze because it doesn't really do much and you don't want to put it at Gold because the jump from Silver to Gold barely does anything and isn't worth the badge points. When it comes to Catch and Shoot, I think it's one of the best badges in the game top two or top three just because the boost you get for catch and shoot shots as opposed to any other shots are really high when it comes to the badge level you want to put it any level but gold because the jump from silver to gold isn't much but you can have it bronze silver or hall of fame just make sure not to put it on gold when it comes to chef i would say this badge is all right it's not a bad badge i would say it's a little bit above average but i don't think it's that good of a badge unless you just have a bunch of badge points already on the super good badges and the reason i say this is because off dribble shots are really hard to make they're really hard to time for most people so when you're shooting off off dribble shots from deep they're gonna go in at a way lower rate even with the chef badge on circus threes is a good badge but i wouldn't say it's a great badge just because on my main build with an 83 pointer i don't have this badge on at all and i can still hit moving shots at a pretty good rate just because i've practiced the shot and i know how to time it so this badge is not needed but it is still a pretty good badge if you're gonna put it on you can really put it on any level but if you have hall of fame you're probably gonna want to put it hall of fame just because the jump you get from going from gold to hall of fame is really good clutch shooter's a decent badge I wouldn't say it's good or great, but if you have extra badge points, you probably just want to put this on bronze. I wouldn't suggest going any higher, but it's a nice badge to have. Now, moving on to corner specialist, I've loved this badge every single 2K, and I feel like in this 2K, it's also really good. If you're the primary ball handler, you're not going to want this badge just because you're going to be dribbling a lot. You're not going to be in the corner much. And if you sit in the corner all the time, you honestly could put it to Hall of Fame. The jump from gold to Hall of Fame isn't huge, but obviously, if that's your play style, you want to put it Hall of Fame. Now, going into Deadeye, I would say this is a great badge. I personally don't use it just because most of the shots I take are wide open so even though it's a great badge you don't need it and when it comes to the level to put it on I would put it on Hall of Fame if you can get it to Hall of Fame and if not then I would put it gold I feel like those are the best two levels having it silver does a little bit and bronze does a little bit but if you're gonna put it on and take slightly contested shots I would put it either gold or Hall of Fame going on to difficult shots it's a decent badge but the only thing with this badge I feel like it's really only useful when you're playing twos in park because when you're playing threes the way to win is by hitting threes and when you're playing rec the court is so clogged up because there are five people instead of two or three so it's way harder to get a difficult shot off from the mid-range so i would say it's either a good badge or an all right badge and when it comes to the level to put it on honestly it depends how much you take moving shots but i would probably put it either silver or gold when it comes to fade ace i think this is one of the worst shooting badges because the only build that you would want to use this on is a post score and i feel like even on a post score there are way easier and way better ways to score than by shooting fades so if you are going to put this badge on i would put it to silver or higher i wouldn't put it bronze i feel like that's not even worth it and i would only use this badge in pro-am or on twos it's gonna be way harder to win threes games if you're just taking straight fades and scoring two pointers green machine is one of the better badges in 2k and one of the best parts about it is you only need it bronze or silver i wouldn't put it any higher than silver unless you have extra badges but bronze or silver seem to work really good for me when it comes to hot zone hunter this is super important if you can't get hot zone hunter gold don't put the badge on at all hot zone hunter silver and hot zone hunter bronze are trash i don't know why it's like this but if i make a build that can't get hot 100 gold i'm not gonna put the badge on and i can shoot perfectly fine it doesn't do much at all at silver and bronze so just save those badge points and use it on another badge unless you can get it gold then hot 100 is probably a top three maybe top four badge in the game limitless spot up is a pretty good badge i feel like it's worse than in past 2ks which kind of sucks and in my experience it's only really useful in rec because in rec obviously there are five people on the floor it's harder to space the floor in threes and in twos you don't really need to be limitless just because if you're open you're going to be open there are only three people on the floor that can get to you rather than five and if you're putting this badge on i would go at least gold bronze will give you a tiny bit of a boost and silver a little bit but i really don't think it's worth it unless you're going to put it gold or hall of fame lucky seven is one of my favorite badges in this game and on every single build that i have i have this badge on bronze you can put it higher than bronze if you want to and if you have extra badge points but make sure you have this on bronze on every single build because the main purpose of this badge is when you're taking jump shots on the fast break they go in at a way higher rate and when it comes to the level of this badge honestly every level but silver is good the jump from bronze to silver is barely anything if you really want to you can try this badge on gold or hall of fame i wouldn't suggest it just because it really only works on fast breaks so you're not going to be using it all the time but it really helps to have it on bronze when it comes to mismatch expert this badge is amazing and it goes hand in hand with deadeye you can only really get this on smaller guards i think you need to be 6'4 or shorter to get this badge you don't really want to put it silver or gold unless you have extra badge points but i think if you can get hall of fame 
put it on 100 worth it and if you can't get all of fame just put a bronze honestly when it comes to rhythm shooter it gives you a pretty good boost but it's not very practical because honestly when are you going to be sizing up your opponent and be wide open when you're sizing them up you're probably just going to drive and get a bucket or do some moves after the size up to get you open you're not going to score right off a of size up so i think this is top three worst shooting beds and i would definitely not put this on going into set shooter this is also top three worst shooting beds just because you have to wait before shooting a jump shot and by the time you wait you're probably not going to be open if you really want to put it on silver is the best level but i suggest not using this at all slippery off balls also top three worst shooting badge it's not a terrible badge but the thing is shooting badges are probably the most important badge in the game out of the four badge categories so you don't want to waste one on slippery off ball unless you get one shooting badge and you're like a slasher or something put this on bronze it's definitely not a bad badge but there are way better shooting badges to put on than this now going into sniper this is 100 percent the best shooting badge in the game and if you can you want to put it on hall of fame and if you can't you want to put it on the highest level it makes shots go in way more for stop and pop if you're the primary ball handler and you can get this to hall of fame do it this badge basically gives you a catch and shoot boost when you're not catching and shooting which is so good because catch and shoot is already amazing as it is and if you have this and catch and shoot both on you're basically going to get a boost every time you shoot the ball along with the sniper boost so i would say stop and pop catch and shoot and sniper are the best three shooting badges and if you're not able to get this hall of fame you want to put it silver just because the jump from silver to gold is not that high and bronze stop and pop really does nothing now going into volume shooter it's really just one of those bonus badges where if you have extra badge points you want to put it on and honestly i wouldn't even put it higher than bronze 